Welcome to NRP On Demand. During the Progressive Era, some women did do more than just fight for uh, suffrage rights and uh, were more active in the progressive uh, movement. One example of this is Jane Addams. Jane Addams was a highly educated woman who uh, went into the community to try to change things. Uh, remember that she is a progressive, which means she thought that the government could do good things and did try to help ha uh, get laws passed that would help protect immigrants and others. Uh, she's most famous for starting Hull House, which was uh, the beginning of a much larger movement known as the Settlement House Movement. These were large houses that would uh, provide things like vocational training uh, to immigrants in an ethnic neighborhood. Uh, they would provide English lessons. They would uh, provide child care for immigrant children so their parents, when they uh, went off to work, they wouldn't just be stuck at the house or running around the neighborhood. Uh, naturally, what's going to happen during these situations is that uh, these immigrants are going to learn American styles of games and uh, language development, and uh, it's going to help ease the process of assimilation for these groups. <clears throat> Jane Addams also helped fight for child labor laws, um, again, providing vocational uh, training for the parents and also daycare uh, for the children. But more importantly, she wanted to keep children out of the factories. Um, so she fought for laws that would, uh, along with others, that would limit the uh, amount of hours women could, uh, children could work, uh, which did pass, and uh, tried to improve the conditions of the factory for the children uh, if they had to work there. Uh, these groups and women like uh, Jane Addams were instrumental in getting the first federal child labor laws passed, which meant that women or meant that children couldn't work uh, in the factories. Um, later, the, interestingly, this is going to be overturned by the Supreme Court, though, saying that it was a violation of the child's right to work. Uh, similar laws are, are used today, uh, arguing that um, to deny somebody the right to work is actually a violation of their civil rights. Thank you for joining us with this NRP On Demand broadcast. For more information on the National Reconstitution Project, our mission, or the projects, please visit our website listed below.